Greetings! There are four main tasks to growing hydroponic lettuce. First, water must be added to the tank. Hydroponic fertilizer is added to the water, so now we have nutrient solution. Lettuce seedlings are transplanted. Wait for about five weeks, and the lettuce then can be harvested. This video will focus on the hydroponic fertilizer aspects. Hydroponic fertilizer must supply six macronutrients and seven micronutrients to the plants. It would appear to be very complicated for a grower to determine the optimum rates of all these 13 nutrients. The good news is that hydroponic fertilizer companies already have determined optimum ratios of the various elements. So we really just need to focus on calculating the correct rate of one nutrient and the remaining 12 nutrients will come along at the optimum ratios for lettuce. Therefore, let's try to just determine the optimum rate of nitrogen. Hydroponic fertilizers are soluble and available to the plants. In contrast with soil culture, no fertilizer is lost due to leaching from rainfall, weeds, or various interactions with soil. In hydroponic culture, the fertilizer nutrients are either in the lettuce or in the nutrient solution. With the suspended pot hydroponic method, all of the water and fertilizer is added at transplanting time. Then the lettuce grows for four to six weeks and the nutrient solution is depleted by transpiration, evaporation, and new lettuce vegetation. Thus, at transplanting time, almost all of the fertilizer is in the nutrient solution. And at harvest time, most of the fertilizer will be in the heads of the plants. There will also be a small amount of fertilizer in the butts and roots of the plants and in the remaining nutrient solution. To measure the amount of nitrogen that is removed by the lettuce heads, a reliable method is to determine the dry weight of the lettuce and analyze the amount of nitrogen in the dry weight. This could be done for all the elements, but we're just going to deal with nitrogen. The percent dry matter is determined by cutting and weighing a whole lettuce head and placing it in a drying oven and then weighing the dried lettuce. You may be surprised to learn that a butterhead lettuce has only 4% dry matter. Some lettuce types might have 5 or 6% dry matter. The dry matter of lettuce contains about 4% nitrogen. Thus, a 200 gram lettuce head with 4% dry matter contains 8 grams of dry matter, which contains 4% nitrogen, and that equals 0.32 grams of nitrogen per head. Let's estimate an additional 25% for the lettuce butt and roots and remaining nutrient solution. Thus, for a 200 gram head, 0.32 grams of nitrogen times 125% equals 0.4 grams of nitrogen are needed to grow a lettuce plant. If we are planning to only grow a 150 gram head, there would be 4% dry matter or 6 grams of dry matter times 4% nitrogen or 0.24 grams of nitrogen per head. Let's add 25% nitrogen for the butt, roots, and remaining nutrient solution. Then 0.24 grams times 125% equals 0.3 grams of nitrogen are needed to grow a 150 gram lettuce plant. With this information in hand, I then bought a three-part hydroponic fertilizer kit from Amazon. The master blend mix contains 4% nitrogen. The Epsom salt, or magnesium sulfate, contains 0% nitrogen. The calcium nitrate fertilizer contains 15.5% nitrogen. The manufacturer's recommended ratio of the three fertilizer components is one part of master blend for 1838, one half part of magnesium sulfate, and one part of calcium nitrate. One gram of master blend 41838 contains 0.04 grams of nitrogen. The magnesium sulfate doesn't contain any nitrogen. 
and 1 gram of calcium nitrate contains 0.155 grams of nitrogen, so the total amount of nitrogen in this 2.5 gram fertilizer unit is 0.195 grams. A proportion equation calculates the following amounts of each component are needed per lettuce plant. 2.05 grams of master blend 41838, 1.03 grams of magnesium sulfate, and 2.05 grams of calcium nitrate. The amount of dry fertilizer needed for eight lettuce plants growing in one of my hydroponic tanks is 16.4 grams of master blend 41838, 8.2 grams of magnesium sulfate, and 16.4 grams of calcium nitrate. In the past, I have successfully used a Hydro Garden fertilizer with one part ChemGrow 81536, 0.6 parts of magnesium sulfate, and one part of calcium nitrate. This provides a total of 0.235 grams of nitrogen per 2.6 gram unit of the three components. Again, using our mathematical skills, we determine the following amounts are needed per plant. 1.7 grams of ChemGrow 81536, 1.02 grams magnesium sulfate, and 1.7 grams of calcium nitrate. I prefer to use fertilizer stock solutions rather than dry fertilizer. So let's make one gallon each of stock solutions A and B. Stock solution A will contain one pound of Master Blend 41838 plus one half pound of magnesium sulfate in a total of one gallon solution. I'm starting to weigh the Master Blend. Since this is a new bag, maybe I should shake up the contents a little bit in case there has been some settling during transit. One pound or 454 grams of the fertilizer is weighed. It is then poured into the container through this water bottle funnel. One half pound or 227 grams of magnesium sulfate are weighed. And then poured into the same container as the master blend fertilizer. About a quart of water is added. The container is shaken very vigorously. The container is then filled nearly to the top with water and will be shaken more to dissolve and mix the contents. Next, we're going to prepare stock solution B by mixing one pound of calcium nitrate in a total of one gallon of solution. 454 grams of calcium nitrate are weighed and then add it to the container through a funnel. About a quart of water is added. The container is vigorously shaken. The container is filled with water and then shaken some more. The jugs of stock solution are placed in a storage container as a precaution just in case a leak develops. As a quick review, stock solution A consists of 454 grams of master blend plus 227 grams of magnesium sulfate dissolved in 3,785 milliliters of solution. Stock solution B consists of 454 grams of calcium nitrate dissolved in 3,785 milliliters of solution. The 3,785 milliliters of stock solution A contains 18.2 grams of nitrogen from the master blend and 0 grams of nitrogen from the magnesium sulfate. Similarly, stock solution B contains 70.4 grams of nitrogen. Thus, 3,785 milliliters of both stock solutions contains 88.6 grams of nitrogen. If 88.6 grams of nitrogen are dissolved in 3,785 milliliters, then 1 milliliter of stock A plus 1 milliliter of stock B contains a total of 0.0234 grams of nitrogen. To calculate the amount of stock A and stock B to add per lettuce plant, divide the required 0.4 grams of nitrogen per plant by 0.0234 grams of nitrogen per milliliter, and you end up with 17.1 milliliters of stock A and 17.1 milliliters of stock B. It is suggested that the 17.1 milliliters of both stock solutions be added to one or more gallons of growing solution. In any case, add this amount to at least one half gallon of growing solution. 
For my growing tank with eight lettuce plants, I would add 137 milliliters of stock A and 137 milliliters of stock B. How many lettuce plants do you think you could grow from one gallon of stock solution? Well, you divide 3,785 milliliters by 17.1, and the answer would be 221 plants. Let's try to calculate the fertilizer cost per plant. For example, Amazon sells 25 pounds of Master Blend Combo Kit for $59.99 during April of 2022. Each kit contains 10 pounds of Master Blend, 5 pounds of magnesium sulfate, 10 pounds of calcium nitrate. Thus, each kit could grow 2,210 plants and the fertilizer cost would be 2.71 cents to grow one lettuce plant. But the cost would be more if you bought smaller quantities of fertilizer. How much could you under or over fertilize? If you under fertilize by half, which would be eight and a half milliliters per plant, the plants might look a little bit yellowish or not grow as well, but they should be okay. If you over fertilize by double or 34 milliliters per plant, the plants might suffer some salt injury and wilt during hot weather, but will probably be okay. So there is probably a fourfold safety margin depending upon environmental conditions. My approach to calculating fertilizer rates is hopefully right in the middle at the optimum level. Some growers like to add extra iron in the form of iron chelate to the calcium nitrate stock solution. The suggested rate is 1 ppm of the growing solution. It's a good idea to check the pH of your growing solution. The pH of this solution was too high, so some pH down solution was added. And this dropped the pH into an acceptable range. I prefer to use a liquid pH test indicator rather than a pH meter. When the concentrated stock solutions A and B are combined, chemical reactions can occur and this causes precipitates to develop. However, this is not an issue in the dilute growing solution. To demonstrate this, here 15 milliliters of stock B are added to a jar. Then 15 milliliters of stock A were added to the jar. The jar was shaken and then left alone. After one hour, we see a white precipitate forming. The precipitate is probably calcium phosphate and calcium sulfate. Since calcium, phosphorus, and sulfur will be tied up in the precipitate, they will not be available to the plants. Here is the precipitate after one day. Well, folks, that's my fertilizer approach for growing lettuce by a non-circulating hydroponic method. Other hydroponic fertilizers with a track record of growing lettuce should work just fine. I hope that you will be able to refine and improve this approach with a goal of optimum lettuce growth with maximum fertilizer efficiency. I bid you happy lettuce growing and aloha. Mm -hmm.